Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD, is a developmental condition that affects a child's ability to interact and communicate effectively with others and to think, play, and behave flexibly. In a first-of-its-kind study, Canadian researchers and policymakers in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick decided to compare their province's early intensive behavioral intervention programs for preschoolers with ASD to try to see which aspects of which programs make the most difference for kids and families. Here's what we found. All preschoolers with ASD in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick receive early intensive behavioral intervention in community-based programs, but there are significant differences between the provinces. Nova Scotia has a longer wait for diagnosis by a specialized team. And in Nova Scotia, the treatment model focuses on building communication and play skills. It includes coaching parents to use specific intervention strategies. The treatment lasts a maximum of one year, and one of the benefits is that the intervention comes to children wherever they are. Children don't enter the intervention program right away, but they get in before starting school. In New Brunswick, the treatment model uses a variety of behavioral treatment strategies that focus on building a wider range of skills. There is ready access to diagnosis of ASD, and children start treatment shortly after diagnosis and continue that treatment until they enter school. Even though there were differences across provinces, we found both programs made a big difference for preschoolers with ASD. The improvements to children made were comparable in the two provinces, despite differences in age, skill level, and autism symptoms when entering the program. There were also differences between the provinces and who bears the cost of early intervention. The more we learn about the differences in early intervention programs across Canada, the more opportunities we have to fine tune and improve these programs. Better programs will help us to meet the needs of young children with ASD and their families. Visit our website to learn more about the findings of our study.